guys welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to overcome or handle the enable macros errors normally this error occurs when you are filing your returns uh, and your computer probably depending on the version of Microsoft Office installed will not be able to open the Microsoft Excel form that will download now this is our file and you can see what appears is not really the form but this error message and the error message reads it has been detected that macros are not enabled sheet is opened in protected view in your system below instructions please read below instructions to proceed how do you enable macros remember we have said depending on the version of microsoft office you have installed in your computer the steps are different and they have been well elaborated for you if you have installed microsoft office 2010 these are the steps of how to enable macros step one click the file menu and then select options from the left sidebar click trust center click trust center settings and then click macro settings select enable all macros and click ok and then save these changes that you've just made close the file and then open again this in this computer that i'm using right now it is installed microsoft office 207 and how do we go about enabling macros in 207 we're going to click microsoft office button as i'm going to demonstrate shortly then click excel options thereafter i shall click trust center under trust center i should be able to see trust center settings and then click macro settings i will select enable all macros and then choose ok i will save these changes and then close this file and then I'll open it again so let's dive right into it We have just finished uh, enabling macros. The next thing is to close this Microsoft Excel form or document. Of course, we are going to save those changes and then reopen the same same document or form that we downloaded. Here it is. And let's see what will happen next. Good. Now, as you can see, our document or file is already open. 
in a manner in which you can make any changes when you want to file your returns you can now dive right into it now from this uh, file how to file your returns we have already made a video on the same on this channel please check it out uh, let it guide you how to file your returns specifically for teachers and uh, we shall be looking at how to file returns for other professions in due course and if you find the video useful don't forget to subscribe like leave a comment and probably anything you'd like us to discuss in this channel leave it in the comment section below thank you very much and stay tuned for our next videos